Hey guys, Laura Whitmore with Strategic. I know you get stuck on geometry problems sometimes, right? We all do. It's hard to remember the theorems and the rules. So today I'm going to show you a math hack for the SAT where you can get geometry problems right, even if you have no idea what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to show you the bubble sheet as a ruler strategy. Now this only applies on pictures for geometry problems that do not say figure not drawn to scale. As long as you don't see that under the picture, that means everything about this picture is accurate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend this paper is my bubble sheet. And I know that from negative five to the origin is five units. So I'm gonna put my corner of my bubble sheet at the negative five. And then I'm gonna mark it here. That is five units long. So if this question is asking me what is P, I can just see how many times that five units fits. And as you can see on this problem, it fits exactly twice. So that means P is 10 away. All right, guys, as you can see, we have another geometry problem. It's a picture. Underneath it doesn't say figure not drawn to scale. So that means everything about this shape is accurate. So let's pretend I don't know how to get CE. This is dealing with similar triangles. You've got one little triangle and a big one. Maybe I don't remember how to do that. So if I want to find the length of CE, I'm going to use one of these sides that they've given me. And my recommendation is to go with the shortest side because it has the best chance of fitting. So I'm going to take my bubble sheet again. Yeah, let's go this way. And I'm going to go from the corner and you have to be very accurate, so be very careful. This is six units right here. And now I'm gonna see how many times it fits. Exactly five times. So six times five is 30. So that means CE is 30. And that was the answer to 18. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope those couple examples help you see how you can use your bubble sheet as a ruler. Just make sure the problems are drawn to scale and you should be good to go.